What's up, I'm Joe. You know, different stories are suited to different types of media. For example, if your story is about a high-speed chase, maybe you want to film an action movie instead of adapting it into live theater. And I think that's the same reason that there are so many different social media platforms that online artists feel they have to keep up with nowadays. Instagram and Tumblr and Facebook and G Plus and MySpace. Oh my god, I can't do it! I shouldn't have used pool balls for that. Each one of those platforms is a slightly different medium that allows you to tell a story or share a different aspect of your life in a different way. I might be able to say things on Twitter or Tumblr that wouldn't make a great video. For example, we hear on Team Hypercube all the time, what are your favorite games? What do you like to play? But we already post so much on Team Hypercube that there's not really time for us to do a whole series of game reviews on different things that we want to do. I mean, someday maybe, but not at the rate that I'd like to tell you about all of these cool games. So I was really excited to jump on board with this new platform called Sublime. They allow their users to make lists of their favorite things and link to places you can get them and stuff like that, but also like write a little review of it. It's not gonna make a very good video for me to tell you uh, all of my favorite like nerdy shirts, but I have a list up there now, or I have a list of all of my gaming hardware. So I'm gonna be posting a list there about once a week or maybe more, I don't know. It's kind of fun to make them. It's kind of my job as a vlogger essentially to tell you cool things, and sometimes those cool things are actual things, and when they are, then I'll make a list of them and put them up on Sublime. But I wanted to tell you about it because they're actually giving away a copy of one of my favorite games, which is Last Night on Earth. All you have to do is make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel, and then uh, click the link in the description below, and that'll take you to the my Sublime page, and uh, there will be instructions there. If you haven't played it yet, you should go and enter because you might get a copy. We also get suggestions on Team Hypercube all the time to play uh, tabletop RPG, D&D, Pathfinder, whatever. And again, our 10 minute YouTube videos aren't a very good medium for that. However, because I'm a writer and I've been feeling like I kind of need practice writing again, I started a blog on WordPress. So over there I'm doing more, you know, long form personal blog posts as well as more game reviews. And I've actually started a DMs journal kind of thing because I'm running a campaign right now that I'm really proud of. I wrote the whole sort of backstory and world myself, and you can go and take a look and kind of follow along with the campaign over there, and I think that's a much, much better medium for relating that kind of story to you guys. It's called IRL XP, like leveling up in real life. Take a look around, leave a comment, say hi. Especially those of you who follow me on a whole lot of different things know that there have been a lot of promotional posts lately, but that's because there have been a whole lot of really cool things going on. Most recently was the Jetpack Unicorn Kickstarter, which got totally funded. And Christina and I are going to be playing Jetpack Unicorn with some of our backers at VidCon. And at the same time, I was also campaigning to become a vlogger on Geek and Sundry, and that announcement hasn't been made yet. And that's actually gonna happen at VidCon as well. So basically what I'm saying is that at VidCon, I'm gonna be a basket case. But I just wanted to say thank you because I know I get to do these awesome things because of this audience that I have and I'm totally grateful and I never want you to feel like I'm treading upon your trust or your patience by just selling you a whole bunch of stuff. But I will say that I'm always excited when I see the people that I'm a fan of making something and being able to sell it because that means that they're making their living doing their art which is kind of living the dream. So I'm making a promise to you that even though I'm gonna be promoting things on this channel from time to time and on my other channels and platforms and Sublime and Twitter and Tumblr and whatever, I'm gonna try and have integrity about it. I'm, there are always gonna be things that I actually like. There are always gonna be things that I'm proud to share with you, like Jetpack Unicorn. There are always gonna be things that I actually think you should go and do because you'll like it, not because I'm getting a benefit out of it. Anyway, I know the vlogosphere can seem a little bit mercenary at times, but even though I'm interested in doing this professionally, which means that sometimes I need to lend my voice to something that's not necessarily my own, those things that I lend my voice to are always going to be things that are consistent with uh, what I'm trying to do. A part of my, you know, positive message of life as a game uh, frame. One last thing, you might remember that I lost a bet with the SWAT sisters. Well, they picked a Shakespearean monologue for me to do, which was Helena's Oh Spite Oh Hell from Midsummer Night's Dream. And when Christina and Liz and Justin and I were at the Renaissance Fair in Oregon, I found a leather merchant who let me borrow one of his leather bustiers and uh, performed it. So here you go. Oh, spite. Oh, hell. I see you all are bent to set against me for your merriment. If you were civil and knew courtesy, you could not do me thus much injury. 
Can you not hate me, as I know you do, but you must join in souls to mock me, too? If you were men, as men you are in show, you would not use a gentle lady so to vow and swear and super praise my parts when I am sure you hate me with your hearts. You both are rivals and love Hermia, and now both rivals to mock Helena. A trim exploit, a manly enterprise to conjure tears up in a poor maid's eyes with your derision. None of noble sort would so offend a virgin and extort a poor soul's patience all to make you sport. Well, that's a bet paid off. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and head over to my Sublime list so you can get your free copy of Last Night on Earth, as well as uh, checking out my new blog when you get a chance. And if you're going to be at VidCon, tweet at me, say hi, swing by the weird booth while we're playing Jetpack Unicorn, and I hope to see you there. Um, until then, 50 XP for watching. Peace and love.